Hey guys, I'm Sean Cheek in the studio in Waco, Texas. Today I'm going to teach you how to play a classical song, a very popular one by Franz Schubert. It's an impromptu in G flat. I can't remember the exact number. <laughs> it's number three out of the set, but it's very popular. You'll, you'll recognize it when you hear it. Let's take a listen. so forth. All right, you probably recognize that. Um, there's a lot of uh, very famous pianists who have played that one. Vladimir Horowitz is one of the ones that come to mind when I think of, of playing this piece. Um, Liszt, Franz Liszt, was very fond of uh, Schubert's compositions. But anyway, we're going to learn this today. And this is, you know, we're using notes here instead of the letters, which I typically do, you know, for uh, popular songs. We're going to learn something classical today. So something neat for web piano teacher, but I'd like to welcome you to our online community where we gather together to learn, play, and share the music that we love, creating a culture of encouragement for all you guys out there who are trying to play piano online. You can do it if you pick the right lessons and you know how to practice. I'm going to help you to do that today. All right, so picking the right lessons, okay? Um, if you're a beginner, you're not picking the right lesson if you're trying this one, if you just started to play. Um, you know, and a lot of you have a lot of willpower, a lot of determination. Sometimes that can get us a long way. <clears throat> but um, you need a good foundation of piano and music before you tackle something like this, I would think. Um, so, you know, I would recommend not trying to tackle this if you are a beginner. Try some simpler things. So there are lots of good music out there that's easier to play. Work your way up to this level. Get some songs under your belt before you try to, to do something of this uh, magnitude here. Um, I, I will say that it is easier than it sounds, easier than it looks. You see that page and you see black everywhere and, you know, just it just looks intimidating. It's a lot easier than it looks. I'm going to help you play it, but, uh, you know, this is the part one we always do. The rest of it is on my website, webpianoteacher.com, and uh, we'll, you, we'll learn the whole thing together, okay? But let's learn this part one right now <clears throat> as we get to the board. We are on the Quiet MP11 SE. And this is the best instrument you can use to play this outside of an, a really nice acoustic instrument. In fact, this piano is better than many um, acoustics, in my opinion, as far as the sound and feel and the touch. But we're in G flat, okay? So you see those flats there, and you count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six flats, so it's B, E, A, D, G, C are all our flats. You play your um, G flat scale if you know your scales. <coughs> Everything is flat except the letter F. So it's easier for me to think of it that way instead of thinking of all the flats you have. Think of what's not flat. Just say everything's flat except F. <clears throat> so if you see an F, don't flat it. Everything else is automatically flatted. Okay? I'll be on the black keys a lot. And uh, the key of G flat just has a really um, dreamy tone, I think, feel to it. <clears throat> so if you look at the left hand real quick, G flat, D flat. A G flat chord and that lasts for the whole first measure. All right, so we're going to think of this in four counts. I know you know you have a, a double um, cut time time signature there, but we're just going to simplify this. We're going to think of one, two, three, four beats in a measure. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's just think of that. One, two, three, four. Four counts in the measure. <clears throat> And we're going to, on the right hand, B flat with your fifth finger. My thumb is going to be on B flat, octave below that, two finger on a D flat, four finger on a G flat. Now, right there, you can play the whole first measure. All of those notes. It's just four notes. The trick is you have to bring out that top note. Because that's the melody. You don't want to sound like this. then we don't hear the melody. Dun. Okay, so really press, really get some good pressure on that melody note at the top. Okay, and the bum, 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 bum. So count one is one, two, three, four. Crack 
relax it really slow like that have some wrist movement be flexible on that wrist then when you go faster one, three, four, five. we're going to do one more measure here and this one is also fairly easy because it's just all you change is the middle note from D flat to E flat so B flat B flat E flat G flat so we change the D flat to an E flat one two three five and you can play almost all of it from that position left hand goes to E flat octave one two count three we change the melody note from a B flat to a G flat and then we're down lower G flat B flat E flat one two four but once you get there you stay there again G flat to G flat B flat E flat and you're there but bring out that melody note there and there okay practice it slow and I like to hold that melody note with my finger my fifth finger just keep it going helps me remember to uh, bring it out all right so from the very beginning and go tackle all of that as we get into part two and three and part 20, however many parts it takes on the website. But there's your part one, and I hope I made this a lot simpler, simpler for you if you were, you know, more an intermediate pianist, you were thinking, maybe I can play this, maybe you can, but then getting on here and saying, oh, it's not as complicated as I thought it was, it's really not, it's just chord patterns all the way through, and I'm going to hold your hand and show you every, every measure all the way through the whole piece. Hope you guys had fun. Talk to you later.